Hello people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Another day, another scholarship. If you're new, thanks for joining us. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. So today we'll be looking at Masters and PhD scholarships in Canada. Particularly today, we'll be looking at opportunities at the Hauser University in Canada. And without any further delay, let's begin. So this is the course page already of the university. Let's go to the default page. This is the default page of the university and there are a number of um, graduate courses here. So straight away, I'm going to admissions and then graduate admissions and then the list of programs. So let's quickly see the list of programs at this university. So it's a lengthy list, quite lengthy, quite long, and there are different departments here, as you can see. There are things like agriculture, you can see biology, you can see chemistry, also things like classics. There's also communication, computer science. Can move down to get some more. Economics, engineering, English, French. So you see a mix of both the practical sciences, the social sciences, the humanities. So here, yeah, health administration, history. So I think you should just look a little bit closer. Just You might just find the course that suits you and see law, medical physics, mineral resource engineering, can see political science already and you see I think it's it's a long list here and hopefully your course is among um, among these that we just looked at so let's go straight to the scholarships we talked about or before then quickly look at a number of them um, like the applications requirements for instance of some of these courses what are the documents you're meant to provide so let's check economics for instance so if i'm thinking about economics what should i provide if i'm interested in this university so we'll go to the website of the economics department and we'll look at graduate programs and we might be interested in either in the MA or in the um, PhD program. But let's just go to the frequently asked questions um, section to see like the admissions requirements and things like that. So I've opened the page here already and lots of info here, but I particularly want you to probably check things like documents. What documents are you, are you meant to provide? And these are actually the regular documents of transcripts, academic references, short personal statements, and proof of English. We'll be looking at this shortly. And if you're going in for a PhD, these are the documents you're meant to provide. So there are other things here. And um, there's something particular about the English requirement I want to bring to your notice. Yeah, this is it. So usually they accept the TOEFL or the IELTS exam to prove your English proficiency. However, it is stated here that the English or the language competence test may be waived if the applicant has completed a degree at a recognized university where one of the official languages of the country is English. This claims must be verified by the faculty of graduate studies so it means if you studied in the english language for your undergrad you might not need to take the ielts or the toefl you can apply for a waiver but show proof of um show proof of your proficiency so this is just some of the just like an example of the documents needed for the course and things like that so check for your particular course this is economics of course there are several other courses here check for the particular documents you need to provide for the course you qualify for so let's go into the funding 
So here we can get a sense of um, funding as well in the frequently asked questions section of this particular department. This is economics, as I said earlier, you can check for your own department, that is biology, agriculture, law. So we check for funding opportunities here. So here it stated, can I obtain funding? How much is available? So and it's clearly stated here that the number of scholarships actually teaching assistantships and research assistantships. And it says here that applicants are automatically considered for scholarships. Mind you, this is just for the economics department. It might be different for another department. So go to your department and familiarize yourself with the particular info for that department and it says here that both canadian students and non-canadian students are expected to apply on the 31st of january to be considered for these um either assistantships or research um teaching assistantship research assistantship or scholarships so apart from this there's another popular scholarship in this university the Dahoso University and this is known as the harmonized scholarship process harmonized scholarship so this means that there are a number of scholarships flying around and instead of applying for these scholarships individually this university has created a platform where you apply for them simultaneously at the same time so the deadline for the scholarship, as you can see, is Saturday, 15th January, 2022. So these are a list of several different scholarships. And if you put them together, they could cover your studies and even giving, um, give you um, living stipend as well. So the university says, instead of applying for these scholarships differently, use this platform to just put forward one application for scholarships. Having said that, also consider the info here on the page that the application for this scholarship, this harmonized scholarship, and the application for admissions are actually different. This paragraph makes it clear. So, for instance, if you're interested in economics, you go to the economics department, apply there differently, and then come to this page and apply also differently. I hope it is clear. So it's a two-way application process. If you want to be considered for any of these scholarships um, named here, you can look at them individually um, at your own time. Apply first. Apply first to the department you're interested in. This is the list of the departments here. Apply first to them. And um, when you, you've, um, you're done with that, you can come here and also apply and you don't need to wait to get admission before you apply for the scholarship you can almost do them concurrently so while you're applying for the admission you're also applying for the scholarship you can do them hand in hand instead of waiting to get admission before you get a scholarship and there are also step-by-step -step procedures on how to go about applying for this harmonized scholarship so what is the value of the scholarship so before the value you can see here criteria for evaluation you can look at this on your own but let's rush to the value of the scholarship so it is stated here that for masters you can get twenty thousand canadian dollars per year and for a phd you're getting thirty thousand canadian dollars for a phd student and for master students you're getting this twice for two years so twenty thousand um for each year that's um, forty thousand in total and for a phd for four years that should be a hundred and twenty thousand if i'm correct thirty thousand times um times four so there you go so just make sure you're able to first clarify the admissions requirements of the courses you intend to apply for and send correspondence to the department if you're not clear ask them particular questions then also take advantage of this one as well and that's it guys it's a short one today about how to apply for msc phd scholarships and um, research assistantships 
at the Dalhousie University in Canada. We cannot wait to celebrate you. Good luck in your applications. Bye-bye for now.